Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to do a very simple hands-on lab because you have requested this particular video on how you can use the new S3 table buckets locally uh, on your machine, right? So the goal is we're going to upload some mock data, inserts and updates into S3 and then from raw we're going to directly build a silver zone. Silver zone is where the data is deduped. So we're going to be using uh, a row number in our merge into commands. We'll dedupe the incoming records and then we're going to upsert them into our silver zone. And uh, again, the, the records are inserted into the new S3 table buckets and you are running the PySpark script locally on your machine. So without wasting any further time, let's begin the guide. All right, step one, we need to install PySpark on your machine and you can simply do that by following command pip3 install PySpark version 3.4.0. I have already installed PySpark, so I am not going to be doing that. And then you just need to export your AWS access and secret. So make sure you have this prerequisite, meaning you have your PySpark installed on your local uh, Mac or Windows machine, and then you have uh, open JDK 11 installed. And now we're going to be doing the next particular steps. So the first step that we're going to be doing is we need some mock data to play with. And I have some data over here. I have two CSV files. Again, here you can see I have five records. These are all inserts, right? And then I have a second CSV file where updates are coming in. So let's push these files into S3 with AWS S3 CP command. So we'll head up to terminal. And I have done that. And I'm, I'm now I'm going to push the second one. And I've done that. And now if I go to S3, my, my bucket, I see a raw folder and I have two files. The first file is where the inserts are. The second file is where the updates are. Now let's take a look at the PySpark job. To simplify the process, I have made a template which will make the life easy. So let me walk you over the template. So if you see the folder, I have three folder, SQL folder, schema folder and JSON file folder. And I'll go over each one of them shortly. So I'm going to go over the schema folder and here you will see silver underscore orders. Here we have the Avro uh, schema. This is, uh, as you can see, the Avro schema. So the columns that I have in the appropriate data type. Now remember, when the script runs for the first time, the silver zone does not exist. So this Avro uh, schema, you know, the, the code is going to read this Avro schema, create an empty data frame, and then it's going to create that iceberg table because first time the table does not exist. And then it's going to do the merge into command. The next time if you run, if the table already exists, it's directly going to perform the merge into command because uh, the schema has to be there, right? So this particular uh, schema file will ensure that that iceberg table is created first, okay? So I wanted to walk you over that. Now, if you observe, I have a file called raw to silver dot merge into dot SQL. I will probably go into this, but I want to go over this uh, first. So the entire job, you can define this as a, a simple JSON. So I will collapse this first. I'll collapse this. And here you can see I have three entity, very simple, Spark input output, right? Spark is where you define your all the configuration related to the new S3 table buckets. Input is where you will define your input. Output is where you want to create that, right? Simple as that. So let's take a look at that. Uh, here you can see the Spark entity. Here I have a bunch of key value pair, right? And the most important thing is on line number 11, or oh, sorry, line number nine, you see this ARN simply come and replace your ARN over here, the, the table bucket ARN, right? So if I now head over to S3, if I go to table buckets, and I already have a table bucket, that's the ARN, right? But if you do not have a table bucket, you can just click here, give it a name, click on create, and then this is the ARN that you want to copy. I have copied it over here, as you can see. Um, so that's that. And then over here, we are using all the required packages that are needed. So that's that opening up the input part. Uh, this is where we're going to read the data from the raw zone, right? The type is CSV, right? Uh, this is the where it's going to create the checkpoint, meaning the next time when the code runs, it will, uh, there is no file to process, right? So on S3, in this particular file, it will store the last uh, processed file timestamp. So next time when it does the list operation, it will say, hey, filter out the files greater than that timestamp, right? So that's, that's the checkpointing process. And then it's just the output, right? In output, you define the schema file, your Avro schema, right? And then the merge query. Now we're going to go into the merge query. So let me, let me see if I can expand this a little bit now. Okay. All right. The fast, the, 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 the final or the last part, right? So first here, merge into, uh, this is the catalog name, namespace dot table name. Then we are selecting bunch of columns here, right? As you can see, selecting bunch of columns. 
and then here I am deduping the incoming records because remember the incoming records have inserts and updates right so I am using row number right and then I'm doing partition by invoice ID and item ID and then I'm taking the timestamp to dedupe it right so here this particular SQL will ensure that uh, the, the in the incoming batch duplicates are removed and once they are done uh, we match that on the target ID if it is a match we update if it is not a match we insert right as simple as that so we have that over here so hopefully the merge command made sense right now um, so again it's, it's, it's quite easy right uh, the template.py uh, it's again I, I think uh, I, I, I uh, wrote this template uh, a while back this template will take that config file right and then based on the config file it will you know create the spark session read the data from whatever source it is spark a csv whatever that is and then it's gonna uh, you know write the data into the target right and if the table does not exist first it will create the table based on the avro schema that you provided and then it's gonna do uh, the upsort uh, on that so this json file uh, uh, again this is where everything is defined very clearly right spark input output three things right S spark settings input and output right now uh, I will uh, simply change that checkpoint here to true I want to commit the checkpoint so now when I'm gonna run the job right when I'm gonna first run the job the table does not exist on 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 the table buckets right so if I go here I do not have anything I just refresh right now I will run this job locally right uh, so what I will do I'll say python template.py and then I'll pass the config file right so I copy this open paste here yeah, you can see the first thing it prints the config on the console it downloads all the packages that are required for the table buckets so that you can work locally and then uh, the first thing it is going to do as you can see it read the data as a spark data frame object now it read read also the avro schema which we provided and since it's the first run the particular target iceberg table does not exist so first it's going to create the target table once the target table is created then it's going to do that merge command I think I can do a good job at a little adding some more print statement but again hopefully you got the idea so now if I go uh, and query this in spark uh, spark SQL right and if I go to the table buckets also refresh I have a table buckets now created oops stay on the page I have the table buckets created and now if I query with spark here you can see it was able to grab those updated records right so 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 it's working absolutely perfect now Okay, so now uh, one thing I also want to show you is again, uh, if you come here to S3, your regular buckets, you see a checkpoint folder and here you can see order.checkpoint. I just want to maybe show you this uh, if I do action and if I can probably do query S3 select run. Uh, if you see, right, it stores the last process uh, file timestamp over here. So next time when you run the same job, right? If I run the same job again, it should not reprocess the same data, right? So let's run this. So again, it prints the JSON config. Uh, the, again, uh, we supply all the packages that are required. And here you will see no, no files to process. So it's 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 working fine. It, it does the job, right? It's a bad, bad job script, right? It will ensure that, again, just a uh, quick explanation ensures that first time uh, when the script runs, the target table does not exist. It reads the Avro schema, creates a target table, and then does the merge into. When the script runs the next time, it does a list operation, uh, and then basically checks if the checkpoint exists. If the checkpoint exists, then it will say filter out all the files greater than that particular timestamp. It grabs the incoming records, and then, then basically we do that dedu using SQL in the merge command and then we write that into the target you can execute all of this locally I was able to do it locally all you need is open JDK 11 PySpark 3.4.0 and the code has all the necessary packages uh, for you so I would say try out right I mean you can run it locally on your machine if needed right that's all I have for the video uh, you can find all the resources on github and if you have any questions let me know until then keep smiling keep programming I'll see you next time